Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to see crawl for AI and how this can help us, you know, crawl and scrape data, you know, from different websites, you know, or from .com or from anywhere else on the internet if that website supports, you know, scrapping, crawling, so on and so forth. Now, when we work with uh, chatbots and we want to build rag systems which can go and connect external data sources on internet is crawling and scrapping becomes really crucial because then you have to you know scrap and bring up you know external data or real time data or real world data and we struggle with that and earlier i have created video on gina ai reader it also helps you you know fetch some information or like extract data you know from different websites now in this video i'm going to look at an open source tool called crawl for ai okay that's an open source project available on github anyone can use it and few lines of code and then you are just you know like done with the extracting data and then of course you can build uh, in question answering or information discovery or a chatbot kind of an application once you have those data let's jump in and see how we can do that now if you look at here on my screen i'm on google collab and I'm using Colab here and I already have installed crawl for AI. This is their GitHub repository. If you look at here, it says open source LLM friendly web crawler and scraper. And the good thing about them is that they basically once you extract the data, they return the data in a markdown format. The best format in my views when you work with LLMs is the markdown format and that's why Llama Parse also does the same thing if you extract they have an option called text and markdown so markdown when you select that you get all the extracted data from your different file formats that you have within a markdown file format and I think LLM understands markdown really better and that's why you know they also basically return it in a markdown format which is really good now I'm here on you can see crawl for AI. I just installed it from their source. So I'm installing it from GitHub. I'm not doing any pipey thing over here, but you can do that. You can also set it up through Docker. Now, once you do that, what you're gonna do next is of course import that. So for that, you're gonna do from crawl for AI, import web crawler. I don't need crawl for AI this one. Okay. From crawl crawl for AI, you're gonna just do web crawler. Okay, that's a module available within the library so let's just uh, import that and you can see we have imported imported it now the next thing is we're going to create an instance of wave crawler so for that i'm going to have a variable called crawler and within this crawler i'm going to initiate this and you can see i have in you said you said you can see it says initializing local selenium crawler strategy what does it mean guys like this is a wrapper built on you know already existing tools of course the credit goes to all the creators because they basically uh, make our tasks easier you know you don't have to focus on and writing and using selenium or any other such tools you know gui tools or selenium that basically helps you scrap you know runs within sub process so on and so forth now they does everything they do everything for you you just have to use the library and pass your link and get the extracted data that's how easy it is now you know using these kind of tools so what i'm going to do is we have the crawler here now you have to use something called warm up that will load the necessary model so you're gonna warm up the crawler so what i'm gonna do is crawler dot warm up and you can see it's a you can just run this and basically it will warm up the web crawler it also sets up some logs and etc you can see web crawler is ready to crawl now once the once you run this step you are now ready to run the crawler on a url so let me just first do that so what i'm going to do is result and try it out a few links guys if it's working crawler i'm going to do crawler.run and within this crawler.run i'm going to pass my url i have a startup directory you can see EU, EU startups directory. Now, for example, if you look at this website, it's called EU startups, European Union startups. They have a list of all the startups available in the European Union countries, like whatever country that they fall under EU right now. You can find out all these startups. You can see Symphony over there. You can see you know, a lot of big startups out of Europe. You can see Bricks, you know, based out of London. You have Amble. You have a lot of other startups. Now, if you want to let's go back somewhere here okay and if i click on let's say luxembourg 
Now, if you click on Luxembourg and if I want to extract all this data, you know, and create an Excel sheet or something, I can just do and do that. Now, there are different ways of doing it. You can also use automation tools like Gumloop, DeFi, and Meg.com, so on and so forth. Now, here I'm the capability that crawl AI provides that's the agenda let's see what kind of capabilities that they have and if you can use this tool to you know basically extract the data from these websites in a markdown format so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass the URL here let's copy the URL and this becomes my URL now I'm just going to first let me just run this You can see what it says. It says crawler done for this website success. Time taken. It took around seven seconds. And you know, time taken. Content extracted. You know, extracting semantic blocks and extraction done. Okay, now let me just print that. So what I'm gonna do is, if you do just print result, if you just do print result. It will show you this which with with everything right now i don't need this i don't need the raw results what i'm going to do is i'm going to print result dot markdown that's what i'm going to do here so result dot markdown now once you do print print result dot markdown you can find out everything over here you see this it says you know like oh, of course you can ignore all of these headers and everything and scroll down you can find out the all the business you can see blaze sql category uh, based in luxembourg their tax and so on and so forth so you get basically everything you know over here and you can save this in a in a markdown format and you can just use you can build a chatbot on top of it guys that's what you can do here right you can see that so this is one of the example now the other example is you know you can take cnbc it's a news like it's a media house now what i'm going to do is I'm going to replace this. Okay, so let me just replace. You can see I have replaced it and I'm again running it. Okay, and once that is done, also you can again print. Probably we can just skip this part. We can directly go into print result dot markdown. That will take a bit more time. You can see it took around these this amount of time and i'm gonna just run print result dot markdown so i have taken the business news from cnbc you can find out all these news over here you know uh, on cnbc now if you see here it gives me the news that i need right if you find out the news over here you can see all the news that we have uh coming from the data now you can also use open ai with it it's an llm friendly so you can also use open ai you know to basically get this in an structured format so you can just combine this with an in a structure and get the output so i'll show you how you can do that you know if you scroll down look at their documentation uh you can see here extracted structure data so you can just use so right now we are doing crawler.run if you look at here we are doing crawler.run and just passing the url now you can also pass you know extract extraction strategy so there are llm extraction strategy where you can pass the provider the api token you know the schema and the type and then you can define an instruction that what kind of and you can see a few sort prompting over here and then get the output by bypass cache true and then you just get the resulted result on the extracted content now you can also use op any other llm to basically you know, get this data in a structured format now this is this is a good utility tool guys which helps you basically in your external rag journey if you want to build a rag tool which can connect on the internet and fetch some information or if you want to train something you know you can also use this to collect data you know you can make some cron jobs or something which will go on like every hour and brings up the data for you if the data is being changed dynamically so on and so forth so you can also do that this is what i wanted to do in this video guys I wanted to cover crawl for ai you know for you and i hope you liked it if you have any questions or feedbacks or thoughts let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you have any other questions you can also join our discord server because you know on the discord community we help each other so if you have coding problems etc you can join our discord community if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos 
this this code will be available on my github repository i'll give the link in description that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one